hello again guys um, as you can see I'm out on another uh, pub day walk and yeah the car's just behind me I'm in Hempstead which is six miles uh, to the east of Saffron Walden in Essex so I'm in the north of the county it's another walk from the pocket pub walks in Essex book you're going to want OS map 195 which is Braintree in Saffron Walden and Housted and Great Dunmo. So yeah, it's walk number two out of this book. So I've got a choice. I can do either three and a quarter miles or the full five mile walk. Well of course I'm gonna do the five mile walk because that uh, allows you to visit the little village of Great Samford, which is about I think it's south of uh, south of Hempstead and there's like the Red Lion pub there and I think there's a church as well so it's worth checking out okay so there's a uh, yeah there's two notable pieces of history on this walk being that the Blue Bell Inn was actually the birthplace of the infamous highwayman Dick Turpin and then also um, I think it's probably can't see it through this willow tree here but sort of up the road there is the church at Hempstead where there's a lot of the the Harvey family buried there uh, most notably Dr William Harvey who discovered the circulation of blood the quiet and attractive village of Hempstead makes an excellent base for this walk which offers views over the surrounding countryside and a wealth of Essex farms including one moated farmhouse the splendid pub and the church are interesting old buildings both with links to the past. A hero of medicine, Dr William Harvey is buried in St Andrews and the highwayman Dick Turpin was baptised there because he was also born in the pub, which you're looking at now. There is a shorter option but the full walk will take you to the pretty neighbouring village of Great Samford and back again using parts of the Turpin Trail and some quiet little lanes. The Blue Bell Inn, it appears, has been a pub for more than 400 years, although it has changed its name many times over the centuries. It is renowned for being the birthplace of the notorious highwayman Dick Turpin, whose father was the innkeeper in 1705 when Dick was born. OK, we're heading up this, uh, this little lane uphill called Church Lane, and it's heading to the church in Hempstead. So let's get ready to ramble and let's get ready to walk. Several eminent members of the Harvey family are buried here at the Church of St Andrews in Hempstead, including Dr William Harvey, who in the 17th century discovered the circulation of blood, and Admiral Elab Harvey, who captained the Fighting Temeraire at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. A hundred years before that, Dick Turpin was baptised here. The building was consecrated on the 8th of January 1365 as a chapel of ease by Simon of Sudbury, Bishop of London. He has a close connection with William Harvey, physician to King Charles II who discovered the blood circulation system and whose remains lie in a sarcophagus situated in the Harvey Chapel, which is just over there. The Harvey family lived in Winslow Hall for generations. Captain Harvey distinguished himself as captain of the Temeraire at the Battle of Trafalgar. His coffin, with a number of others, are contained in the crypt below. So this here is the font and it has been dated at about 1140, supporting the theory that there was a chapel on this site before the present building. Hempstead babies have always been brought here to be baptised including a certain Richard Dick Turpin in 1705. Wow. <laughs> that must be pretty cool to be able to say, 
I was baptised in the same font as Dick Turpin, the highwayman. And the song that keeps going through my head is Stand and Deliver by Adam Ant. <laughs> it's a good song. But yeah, how cool is that though? Dick Turpin was baptised in that font. Okay, the church is that way, so I've walked through there, past the horses, and we're going out through this gate, and we're following the Turpin Trail. So we've been on this little uh, country lane for quite a while, we've passed French's farm and Jocelyn's farm, and then at Rosalie Cottage here, we're turning right off of the road along the public bridleway. Just come out of the bridleway here. There's a farm just down there. Now for the shorter walk, you cross over this road and you take that footpath there. That's going to take you back to Hempstead and the Bluebell Inn. For the longer walk to Great Stamford, going this way. Crossed over Howe Lane onto this wide footpath here. And as you can see, there are some nice views out across the countryside here. More uh, wheat fields, I'm afraid. It's quite a, a characteristic, I think, of East Anglia, really, and uh, especially a lot of these Essex pub walks lately. So yeah, we're heading down this uh, this footpath, and it's going to lead us into the little village of Great Samford, which I passed in the car on the way here. Okay, let's see if the church is open. We're in luck, the church is open. It's got a very, very old wooden door here. Hopefully you can make that out in the light. Old heavy wooden door. So instead of uh, pews, they've got these chairs, which they're covered with plastic. I haven't got any information in the guidebook about this church. Wow, that's quite impressive. Sort of the nave is probably more impressive than the one at, uh, at Hempstead. That roof is pretty cool. And then look, you've got this other section just through the glass here. You could see that from the outside. You know, I must have been in here for nearly 10 minutes now and I've only just noticed these wall paintings above me here as you come in. I can't quite make out what they represent. They're quite faded, but you can definitely see that there was there's definitely something up there. And obviously this has just been put over them, I guess. Leaving Great Sanford now, heading along this uh, raised walkway above the road. And then we'll be turning right back down Howe Lane and heading back towards Hempstead, towards the Bluebell Inn. Okay, we've rejoined uh, the route from earlier where I come out the bridle way and this was where you take if you want to do the shorter walk. So I'm now heading back along this way towards Hempstead with that lovely view as well. Okay, it's that time again. Nearly finished the walk. Highlights. Um, got to be the Bluebell Inn at Hempstead. I mean, Dick Turpin was born there. I mean, that's pretty cool. And even if he hadn't have been, it was still a really nice pub, really cool. And yeah, I'm going to head back for a, a pint there when I get back. 
then also the church at Hempstead as well where of course Dick Turpin was baptised in the font there and Dr William Harvey and a lot of his family uh, are in tombs there as well that was really fascinating um, yeah I'd say that's probably been my highlights really I mean it's just been nice really you know just to sort of be out it's one part of Essex I've actually never been to this area I mean there's quite a few bits and this I've never seen before so yeah it's good okay I've come out back at St Andrew's Church in Hempstead and following this road down here so yeah I've come through here through this old iron gate down from there come out there and now heading left uh, left back down down the hill towards the bluebell in which I can just about see now in the middle of the screen there's the little uh, pond they've got here at Hempstead and here's the pub the bluebell inn right to the pub okay guys that's the end of the walk I'm uh, in the back beer garden of the bluebell inn in Hempstead I got myself a pint of Aspel £3.90 and uh, yeah as you can see still really really nice weather so uh, yeah it's been a good little walk this one uh, there's been you know quite a bit of history you know of course this being the birthplace of uh, Dick Turpin and then of course buried in the graveyard in the church is Dr William Harvey so yeah it's been good let me know what you think cheers for watching see you later guys